Happy Hanukkah! Woohoo! This is a time to celebrate. Hug Samaya! Oh, oh, beloved ones, I am so excited. This is Hanukkah. And if you don't know what that is, this is the con- time of the, of not only the celebration of in the second century when the temple was defiled in Jerusalem, that there was only a group of five brothers who went against the evil Antichrist, who proclaimed themselves as God and forbid any Torah reading, any commandment keeping. And he actually not only imprisoned, but tortured and murdered the Jews who refused to stop their belief in the only holy creator at that time that they knew that was Abba Yahweh. So we also acknowledge as we light these candles of the miracle of the Maccabees, and you can read about it in the book of Maccabees, which you will not find in the KJV Bible. So you'll have to look it up online. And on our Hanukkah page, I tell you exactly where it is written that Sukkot and Hanukkah go together. And they could not do their Sukkot at that time. So they had to wait until Hanukkah because of the desecration of the temple. They waited until Hanukkah. Now we know that Yahushua HaMashiach was conceived at that time of Hanukkah. And he is the only eternal light. And that little baby, that little fetus, was put in the womb of a virgin, young Hebrew woman by the hand of the Ruach HaKadosh. To see more about that, read Prophecy 89 and 90 that was given to me, and the Jews know it is true. I want to tell everyone this is a time of miracles. All you have to do is repent. Ask Yahushua HaMashiach the forgiveness of your sins and confess them and tell him you are sorry. He paid the price for you at Calvary. He was crucified for those sins. He said, this blood is for you. And that's why at the very ending, I'm going to add the salvation prayer that was given to me, as well as the story of one minute until midnight, a painting that is priceless. You will see the open vision that I had of heaven and Yahushua HaMashiach. This is a time of miracles. So when you're lighting those Hanukkah, menorah, Hanukkah, it's called Hanukkah. When you're lighting the Hanukkah, what you're doing is you're also in prayer, remembering, expect miracles. Expect miracles from being delivered from the hand of the reprobate enemies. These are people are the ones that Yahushua was speaking of in John 10. They are not of him. They were reprobates. That means an unsavable soul. That means an unrepentant soul who refuses to obey Yahushua HaMashiach. Yahushua said, how can you prove that you love me? By keeping my commandments. People have taken the word grace and mercy because Yahushua HaMashiach is the only blood atonement for sins. And They think that it's cheap grace, that now they can go and sin all they want and then go back to the cross. Well, it don't work that way. And right now we are going to celebrate and show the video of everyone celebrating right now. And Yahushua is going to show you. He is who he said he is. And it all started at a temple. Just like in the book of Maccabees says, he is. He is that miracle of the oil that did not run dry. He is our Yahushua HaMashiach. The only way to heaven is through his name. So Yahushua HaMashiach bless you. I love you. To all the Mighty Wind congregation, I pray that you enjoy this video and the singing because it's all coming from this ministry. So Yahushua bless you. Shalom. Happy Hanukkah. Expect miracles. I know I am. Amen. Thank you. 
Festival of Lights, Happy Feast of Dedications. Happy Hanukkah in Yahushua saves the world. Hallelujah! Szczęśliwej Bogosławionej Hanuki! Szczęśliwej Bogosławionej Hanuki! Szczęśliwej Bogosławionej Hanuki! Bogosławionej Hanuki! Szanowni! Akua Yotu Hanuka! Happy Hanukkah! Hanuki! 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 Ini khushwa khamsha khipi khanuka Hello? Hello? Hi, beloved Sil. Hi, beloved Talia. Hi, Hi beloved, beloved Mom. Mom. I have just been in prayer with Yahushua, and I want to share something with you that's new for the ministry. Okay, praise Yahushua, Mom. Thank you so much. Thank we're, so, we're so happy. that. Thank you. 
And man, thank you for calling us. And uh, we can't wait to hear it. So please go ahead. Well, it was during prayer. Well, I, I prayed very hard during the time of Sukkot at tabernacling with uh, Yahushua. And I could feel his presence. And there was even a Sukkot prophecy. Of course, it has not been released. Yahushua said, you cannot release this now. This is a time of celebration. So it's on hold. <laughs> um, what is that, like five on hold, I think, at least now? But I heard Yahushua say this to me. And he had actually even spoke to me in my sleep. And he was telling me how honored he was during the time of Sukkot. Those who made the videos, um, he was so honored and he felt so much love coming from each one of them. All the Holy Trinity, Abba Yahweh, Yah, and, and of course Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, they all felt such overwhelming love. He just kept saying how honored he was and how comforted he was that it wasn't just Sukkot, which is a foreshadow of his birthday. And he just said, a Sukkot is my birthday on earth. And it's the first day of Sukkot is his birthday. And he says, and my beloved Elishav Eliyahu, I'm giving you new instructions as a head of a mighty wind ministry. And I want you to tell the congregation, behold, I, Yahushua HaMashiach, order you, my beloved Elishav Eliyahu, to do a new thing with the Holy Trinity's ministry a mighty wind. And on Hanukkah, I want this celebration of the Festival of Booths to continue. I want it to be a celebration, just as you did with the Sukkah in the Festival of Booths Sukkot, so too during the time of Hanukkah. For this is the time your Messiah was placed by the beautiful hand of the Ruach HaKodesh's invisible hand into my birth mother Miriam's womb. Should you not celebrate that? You celebrate my birth, and now I'm asking you to celebrate the time of Hanukkah in the same way with these eight days. For I am the eternal guiding light. I am the reason Hanukkah is named the Festival of Lights. The building, the sukkah, the sukkah were instructions given which foreshadowed my birth in a stable in Bethlehem. And in the Hebrew language, sukkah translates into the word in English, stable. And we know in Bethlehem, he was born in a stable, which was really a sukkah also. But there was no animals in it. I am the temple that was defiled as every sin except blasphemy of the Ruach HaKodesh, where there is no forgiveness. All other sin and disease were placed on my body. I was a perfect sacrificial lamb of Yahweh, the perfect blood atonement for sins, birthed from a human virgin woman. I am a co-creator, together with Abba Yahweh and the Ruach HaKodesh, who some call us the Holy Trinity. He reminded me of the scripture, John 2, 19. Yahushua said, destroy this temple in three days. I will raise it up again. I am the rededication of the Holy Temple, torn down, crucified, and my body died. But on the third day, I proved Satan could not stop my body from rising from the dead. Before witnesses, I did miracles in every part of the world in 40 days. Thank you, my beloved Elisha Eliyahu, for setting the example to other ministries and tell a mighty wind congregation, I am well pleased with their proof of love by obeying and living holy and celebrating my birthday on Sukkot for the eight days and being so faithful to you as a leader of this ministry and acknowledging only the Holy Trinity as the head. There would not have been a miracle birthday on earth without the pregnancy 
of my virgin birth mother. Let's all, let us let me see celebration for eight days on Hanukkah and be in the sukkah again. Continue to honor your Messiah and my heavenly Father Yahweh and the precious Ruach Hakodesh who sent me to replace the old blood covenant. It was a foreshadow of what was to come. And when I came, it was time to say, it is finished. Yahweh said the old blood covenant was no longer good enough anymore as the sins were piled too great. Abba Yahweh had to send his only begotten son, the true sacrificial lamb, without blemish for the remission of sins of the humans. I, Yahushua HaMashiach, I am your only perfect high priest. The only way, the truth and the life to heaven is through my name and my sacrificial blood so your sins can be washed away as you believe and do not doubt. I am Messiah. I am a co-creator. I paid the price for your sins. When you confess all of your sins and ask forgiveness, and then you turn away from your evil, and you redeem what can be redeemed with great sorrow, you repent before Yahweh and the Ruach HaKodesh also. Then you will be blood-washed and blood-bought, and whoever Yahushua HaMashiach forgives, so too does Yahweh and the Ruach HaKodesh, the sweet Holy Spirit, Imaya. Worship me and obey me and be grateful. I paid the price and was crucified in your place and died and arose again on the third day. You rededicated your temple when you die to self and you made me your Messiah and you declare me as Lord God Almighty, the only begotten son of Yahweh and, and allow me to use your life for my purpose and my glory. Turn away from evil completely, for you are now born again and cleansed by Yusha HaMashiach's blood. The precious Ruach HaKadosh will be in your soul and warn and convict you to repent quickly when you sin. You put the fear of Yahweh, which is a beginning of wisdom. You fear offending Abba Yahweh, you fear offending Yahushua HaMashiach, and you fear offending the Ruach HaKodesh, and grieve not the Ruach HaKodesh, for she will not stay in an unclean vessel for long. King James Version Bible even says wisdom is a she. Keep the festival of booths in the month of Kislev, as it is recorded, Second Maccabee one nine. And it happened that on the same day on which the sanctuary had been profaned by the foreigners, the purification of the sanctuary took place. That is on the twenty fifth day of the same month, which is Kislev. They celebrated it for eight days with rejoicing in the manner of the festival of booths, remembering how not long before, during the festival of booths, which is Sukkot, they had been wandering in the mountains and caves like wild animals. They decreed by public edict, ratified by votes, that the whole nation of the Jews should observe these days every year, Second Maccabee 10. They had only enough oil for one day, and it lasted eight days. Again, a foreshadowing of the birth of Ayushua HaMashiach. And Ayushua HaMashiach am the only eternal guiding light. As long as you worship and obey and live in holiness, like the parable of the five wise virgins, there will always be plenty of anointing oil within your souls. Just as you put up your sukkah, 
during the eight days of Sukkot. You are to keep that sukkah up during the eight days of Hanukkah as well. And I, Yahushua HaMashiach, said that this is a further way to honor Abba Yahweh and the precious Ruach HaKadosh, who sent down their only begotten son and placed him in his virgin birth mother, Miriam. For even Yahushua's name in Hebrew translates to Yah saves. Miriam and Joseph would never have given their son a Greek name. In the King James Version Bible, they could not leave out the name, even in Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Holy Trinity is ahead of this ministry and is given these instructions to the only leader of this ministry until a male leader joins her again. And I give these orders to you, my beloved daughter, Elisheva Eliyahu, who is the apostle, the prophet, and the pastor, and my ring maiden. And that was given to me on the ending of Simbat Torah. I was given those instructions during prayer. Wow, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you, mm-hmm. Abba Yahweh, Yushinimia, for these new instructions mm-hmm. and revelations that came Thanks, straight yeah. from heaven. Mm-hmm. Abba Yahweh, please bless your ring maiden for this, for speaking it forth and sharing these blessings with us. I can only say hallelujah, amen. Abba Yahweh, Yushinimia, all glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Thank you very much, Mom, for sharing this with us. What a Sukkot time we had, and all the people are going to look forward to seeing the Sukkot videos. But in the meantime, I am supposed to show my sukkah and my treasured possessions on it because somebody who once loved me very much gave me each thing on that table. And the One Minute to Midnight painting is the one and only original. It's an oil painting and it was done in the 90s. This blood's for you is what it's all about, as I saw in an open vision, and Yahushua was weeping tears of blood. And he started speaking who the tears of blood is for. And that is a teaching in itself. And then, of course, then we go back into the celebration. But our Sukkot, whoa, the videos, the songs, and the dancing, and the singing, and the rejoicing. Yushua wants the same thing on the time when the conception happened, when, when Abba Yahweh again gave his only begotten son and instructed that the beautiful hand of the real Kakodesh be put inside a virgin woman's womb. What did he call her? The birth mother. I'd never heard him ever call her that before, but it was going to be the birth mother. And can you picture this little tiny little, <laughs> I can't even picture that, but he himself is is um, God Almighty, and yet he himself agreed to come as that little tiny little fetus and to be placed inside the womb to a virgin. Again, a miracle. Everything about Hanukkah is a miracle down to the, I know they're all focused about the temple, but who is the true temple? Who is the true one who said in that, in that scripture? And he said that, you know, you could, you could knock all these, uh, there was so much and they were looking, remember they were looking at the destruction of the temple. And Yahushua himself said, destroy this temple. And in three days, I will rise it up again. He was talking about his own body. He was talking about, we are the temple of the Ruach HaKodesh. This is the temple right here. Our bodies are, the temp, our physical body is a temporary tabernacle right now, a temporary temple. Of course, we know we're going to have glorified bodies. And of course, we know Yahushua He did not raise up again in that tortured body. When people looked at him and he was raised up before witnesses, he had his glorified body, except he still had, remember what he told Thomas, put your hand in my side and see where they had 
um, put the spear in, so he still had those wounds upon him, but he was in a glorified body, and he had to go present himself before the Father in heaven. That's what he said, to show that what he had done, it was finished. So that's our beloved Yahushua, and if we're going to celebrate Sukkot, and remember, the, he taught me this, and I don't see anyone else teaching it. The old blood covenant is a foreshadow of everything that Yahushua did in the new blood covenant. That's why he said, I did not come to cancel the laws of prophets. I came to fulfill them. And that's why in Leviticus, it warns you about the unclean foods. And at that time, it was applicable. But there was a new day coming in the new blood covenant. Yeshua said, it's not what you put in your mouth that defiles you. It's what comes out of your mouth that defiles you. And when Yeshua said on that cross, his last words he spoke. And I want to share a, a, another revelation and a vision that I had in case people didn't read that. And that was when Yeshua was on that cross, how he bared all that torture with it hurt with every breath he took. We we put the description on the website of what it's like when somebody is crucified and the way that he was. The others were just tied on the stake on the cross. But the other two, and yet Yeshua, he had spikes, what we would call nails, but more like spikes, driven in the palms of his hands and his feet. We cannot even conceive of anyone being tortured like he was. And when Yeshua showed me what he was thinking about during that time, I felt so honored and I want to share with it. There's no way to describe what he was telling me other than to say, everyone whose name that is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, he will not lose one. And while he was on that cross during those three hours before that sacrificial lamb was slain because remember when a sacrificial lamb was slain, that's exact time. He said it is finished and he died. But before that, he said to me, there was flashes and images of pictures that it was going to his mind so quickly before his eyes of everyone whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life. And he was saying, this blood's for you. You see, no one can can be in heaven that was born on this earth without going to the name and the blood of Yeshua. There is but one way, truth and life. They had to at one time accepted him to be in that Lamb's Book of Life. And he said to me, there is no way to describe it, but he even knows Sil and Tal he would have seen your faces. He would have seen the exact date and time and year that you gave your life to him. And you said, it's not I that live anymore, but it's you, Yahushua, that I want you to live your life through me. Take my life and let it bring you glory. Forgive me of my sins. He knows he knows what it took to break every one of us till we got to that point where he cried out, forgive us, forgive me of my sins. Help me not to hurt you again. One of the reasons why, first of all, the bride of Yahushua will never premeditate sin. It's not in us. We, we don't want to hurt him. He was already crucified in our place. If it would have taken crucifixion to be able to get to heaven, how many of us would have done what paid the price that he did? No, he did it for us. And he will not lose one sheep. And that's the revelation he gave me. That's what he saw. And a speed so faster than the speed of light. I can't even imagine what, he's, what he was speaking of when he said that. But everyone's name that's written in the Lamb's Book of Life, because they worship, 
and they made him Messiah and they asked him to forgive him of their sins because no one who ever walked this earth was perfect in the form of a man or a woman except one. His name is Yahushua. If his, if his birth mother, Mar Miriam, had been perfect, then she would have been the one hanging on that cross, but instead she called him Lord. And she too knew that she needed forgiveness for her sins. And she was right there watching her son be crucified, knowing who he was, knowing that he was no ordinary man. So that's what I wanted to teach real quickly to anyone who didn't hear me already give that teaching. And I'm so very grateful that you and I and everyone who will listen to this truly worships Abba Yahweh, Yushua Mashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh, that they truly know beyond a shadow of a doubt when they cry out to him, he will never leave them, he will never forsake him, them. When they say, I am sorry, please forgive me with great sorrow, I'm not talking about this carte blanche thing that they just say, please forgive me of all my sins, amen. When you know you've done wrong, you're going to feel sorrow. You're going to say, and remember, the price you should have paid. And for those who think that the law was done away at the cross and now they can go sin all they want because Yahushua, Jesus Christ, paid the price for their sins. Now let's go live like the devil because after all, he paid the price for the sins. It said so. Well, they're wrong. His blood did not come cheap. That was Abba Yahweh's only begotten son. And that blood did not come cheap. That torture us, that came upon his physical body where even the torturer who whipped him 39 times, that was no ordinary whip. That was pieces of materials like lead and sharp stones and whatever they could put on the end of those, uh, the lashes of the, the whip that came down on his body. That was Satan inside that torture. That's something else Yeshua told me. That was no ordinary torture he went through. And it wasn't enough just to, to be crucified for our sins. But he went the step further. He didn't have to be tortured by that whip. But he said by those 39 stripes, he said... By these stripes, you are healed. Amen. Every disease, every sickness, even mental illness, everything was in those lashes of that whip. Satan never would have done that if he had known. Amen. And he didn't stay dead. But on the third day again, he moved that big, huge boulder away the soldiers put there to make sure that no one could come and steal that body, a, a boulder that is unlike any other boulder stone, so heavy, one man could never have moved it. And yet there was Yahushua, and he came out, and when he did on the third day, he showed himself, he went to the disciples. He walked invisible right through a door. That's called a glorified body. And the bride of Yahushua is going to have that kind of glorified body. And no one's going to be able to keep us out. And anyone who has that glorified body, the same thing goes for it. There has to be guests at the marriage supper of the Lamb. <clears throat> Not everyone is worthy to be called the bride of Yahushua. We're paying the price right now. We are persecuted, not because of, for our, our sake. They don't even know us. 
I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. And we are going to celebrate on Hanukkah. And the greatest gift of all is our Messiah. You know, we give gifts to one another only because it's a reminder. If the scripture says, if we know how to give good gifts to one another, how much more does a heavenly father know how to be able to give good gifts to his children? He rewards those that diligently seek after him. Amen? Amen to that, Mom. Amen. Thank you. Well, it's going to be a special Hanukkah, and we're going to be in the sukkah. And f some people have loved their sukkah so much, they haven't wanted to take it down yet. And I've already heard that. And we're going to open it up when the Sukkot video is finished, and I mean the really big one. People are going to be so blessed and so laugh so much. A congregation so faithful and loyal and loving. Oh my, what they have gone through with me. And they only love me more. No one ever complains. So don't forget, Sukkah time on, in Hanukkah. We don't care what any other ministry does. We're following what honors Yahushua. Another way to be able to comfort the Holy Trinity. There's not many anymore that really want to live holy. But for those that do, you'll find out how to this ministry. Because that's our heart's desire, is to be pleasing and have a testimony as unto Enoch. Because he did not see death, he was translated before death could come to him. And he was taken to heaven as what we call raptured to heaven in a chariot of fire, no less. Can't beat that. That's, an, that's Yahweh's own taxi he sent for him. Amen? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, you shall bless you. I love you, Almighty Wind Congregation. You can be sending your videos for Hanukkah. I didn't want to leave anyone who wants to be part of it. And I can't promise all of them will get in there. But we, what we will choose is those that can fit in the space of time, as Yahushua tells us to do. But just know that whatever you do, even if it isn't in a video, remember, it can only be so large. I mean, so long and large. <laughs> um, just know that Yahushua says, He's well pleased with everyone who honors him. It's an honor. And everything in the old blood covenant, if you can just remember this, even in the Exodus, he taught me this on Passover. And the teaching was even the blood on the doorposts that they put there so the angel of death would pass by and not be able to come near them and know any of those curses that Moses had spoke forth that Yahweh would do. And that is because that was a foreshadow. That sacrificial lamb was a foreshadow of what was to come. And it's how Yahushua HaMashiach, as the blood of Yahushua, is not, does not only just wash away our sins, but protects us, a dome of protection over our homes protects us mind, body, spirit, and soul if we will just call out to him. He is the only Messiah. He is the only intercessor before the Father. We dare not go before the Father. If I would dare do such a thing and say, Abba Yahweh, I'm El Eliyahu, and I come to you and I ask this uh, prayer petition, no, that won't work. It is through the name and the blood of Yahushua. Yahushua said, you do this in my name. And the Father in heaven, as it lines up with his will, they forget to put that part in King James Bible. And in his timing, it will be done for us. But we have to do it in the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh who paid that price for all of us humans. 
that we can approach the throne of Abba Yahweh. It is the prayers of the righteous that avails much. It's the prayers of the unrighteous that avails nothing. People don't understand. We are really in the end times right now. And if you expect to escape the great tribulation that is to come, then you really need to give your life and your love and your worship and your obedience to Yahushua HaMashiach, for he's the only one who can save your soul. And he's the only one who can protect you. It's through his name and his blood. And I plead the blood over this ministry and over you and Talia and over all of a mighty wind congregation. And if anyone is visiting and is going to listen to this, and I know we do have visitors, and they want to know what it's all about, and you've heard the hatred directed at me, just remember there's always haters. There's fallen angels, there's demons, demonically, demonic possessed people, and just plain people who are blotted out of the name of Lamb's Book of Life. They're in the Book of Damnation. Of course you're not going to have nothing good to say about me. This ministry is holy and does not compromise with sin just like Yahushua doesn't. So that's what I have to say. And I'm looking forward to Hanukkah. And I'm looking forward to the, the su big Sukkot uh, video that will be released. Oh, just don't miss it. Don't miss it, a Mighty Wing congregation and visitors who are listening. You truly will be blessed. So I say shalom. It's also a blessing on your mind, your body, and your spirit, and your soul. And shalom is a peace. And someone very special to me, a Jewish man, just taught that to me. And I was someone that I talked to on the phone for four hours. Woo! We just bounced that anointing back and forth like a tennis ball. It was so awesome. I'm not going to say his name. He knows who I am when he hears this. And you know who he is, too, Sil and Tal. And yeah. what a blessing. I am truly what, a, what an anointed man he is. I learned from him. He learns from me. And he's also learning Hebrew so he can be translating these prophecies. That's his heart's desire. And that's our heart's desire for all those prophecies that are, are directed towards Israel although English is supposed to be the second language. I also know that a lot of them don't speak English. So Yahushua HaMashiach bless you. I love you. And I love, I love, I love our a Mighty Wind congregation. We are now in 51 different languages. I'm not going to name the last one. This will be a surprise to everyone. And I also want to say how much I worship, love, praise, and adore you, Abba Yahweh, beloved Yusha HaMashiach, and precious Ruach Kadesh. And thank you, Abba Yahweh El Shaddai, for taking vengeance on the enemies, the reprobate enemies, that you said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against us, we shall condemn, for this is a heritage of the saints, of you, Yusha HaMashiach. We thank you and we praise you, beloved Yahushua. Thank you and praise you that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we don't take it for granted. And we never want to hurt you. Help us to be more pleasing to Abba Yahweh and you, Yahushua, and to the precious Ruach Kodesh. Amen. But this is up as a symbol thereof to honor Yeshua Mashiach always. Put this up as a symbol thereof to honor Yeshua Mashiach always. Put this up as a symbol thereof to honor Yeshua Mashiach always. Put this up 
up as a symbol thereof to honor Yeshua Mashiach always. Hallelujah. Praise Yeshua. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. Time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah. Time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. I can recall the feast of the month we got Purim and Passover. Feast of the leaven bread. They go together. The county of the omen. Feast of trumpets. Yom Kippur. Tari knackers. And the last of all is Hanukkah. We take a time to light the candles. Remember this time is a time of celebrating lights. We celebrate the light. Yeah. We celebrate the light. Yeah. Yahushua is the light. I, I. He is the light that shines in the dark. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. Yahushua is the light I, I, that shines in us. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah, time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah, time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. We carefully light the candles for eight days. You can come and join us. Hanukkah is fun. Jump and roll around, give gifts to one another. Hanukkah is for everybody here. We're celebrating light, the feast of lights. Yes, we are boring. They are fun. Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehard Likner She'el Chanukah Blessed are you, O Abba Yahweh, who is our Creator, our Heavenly Father in Heaven. You are King of the Universe, who has sanctified us by His Word and instructed us to kindle the Hanukkah lights and do this in remembrance. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Sheasa Nisim Lavoteinu Bayamim Hahem Bazman Hazeh Blessed are you, O Abba Yahweh, our Creator, our Heavenly Father, King of the Universe, who performed miracles for our forefathers in those days and who will continue to give us miracles and deliverance from the reprobate enemy's hands at this time of Hanukkah. Hanukkah in Hebrew means dedication. Hanukkah means deliverance and miracles. And we have eight days that we can rejoice and wait. When you're lighting those Hanukkah um, oil lanterns or, or candles, just expect miracles. Ask forgiveness in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Then you go to the Father, Rabbi Yahweh, and you ask what you will. And if it's His will, we believe in miracles. And it will happen. And He will deliver us once again, from the hands of the enemies who seek our destruction. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehecheanu Vekiyamanu Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazeh Blessed are you, O Abba Yahweh, our Creator, our Heavenly Father, King of the universe, who has granted us life and provided for us, who has given us this revelation that Yahushua HaMashiach is the living menorah, 
the living Torah, the Word that was made flesh. As we celebrate this feast of de dedication on this festival of lights, as we honor the eternal light, Yahushua HaMashiach, the, the desire of our heart is to be a light so we can lead souls to Yahushua HaMashiach. No flesh can be saved except through the name and the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. Acts 4.12 There is salvation in none other, for neither is there any other name under heaven that is given among men in which we must be saved. Yahushua HaMashiach is the only blood atonement for people who confess, repent, and turn away from their sins. Yahushua HaMashiach was crucified and was accused of blasphemy by saying he is the son of God Yahweh. And on the third day he arose from the dead. Yahushua HaMashiach did more miracles than any book could hold until he ascended into heaven on the 40th day before many witnesses, Acts 1-3. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during the 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God Yahweh. Matthew 4, 17. From that time, Yahushua began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This was his main focus all through his ministry. <laughs> Yeah.
Heavy on the car. Yeah, yeah. Woo! We're back again. We're back again. For he's the light. He's we're gonna the shine light. it bright. We ain't afraid to fight. Cause he's we won't be alright. We're gonna stand our ground. Here he's is no need to frown. We're on our knees begging, please. We put the truth in祝大家光明节快乐祝大家光明节快乐祝大家光明节快乐祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝祝
Remember this time is the time of celebrating light. We celebrate the light, yeah. We celebrate the light. Yahushua is the light. He is the light that shines in the dark. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. Yahushua is the light that shines in us. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah, time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah, time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah, time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah, time to celebrate. It's Hanukkah. It's Hanukkah. Yay! Hallelujah! In the temple courts, Yahushua kept both Sukkot and Hanukkah according to the New Testament, which is also the only place the Bible mentions the winter festival of Hanukkah by name. John chapter 7 and 10. John chapter 10. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Yahushua HaMashiach spoke this parable to them, but they didn't understand what he was telling them. Yahushua therefore said to them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is an hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. Therefore a division arose again among the Jews because of these words. Many of them said, He has a demon and he's insane. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the sayings of one possessed by a demon. It isn't possible for a demon to open the eyes of the blind, is it? It was a feast of Hanukkah at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Yahushua was walking in the temple in Solomon's porch. The Jews therefore came around him and said to him, How long will you hold us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Yahushua answered them, I told you, and ye believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Therefore, Jews took up stones again to stone him. 
You shall have a shock answer them. Many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? The Jews answered him, We don't stone you for a good work, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Yahushua answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me, and I in him. And the Jews tried again to capture Yahushua Hamashiach. But he escaped their hands. Yahushua went away again beyond the Jordan into the place where John had been baptizing at first, and there he stayed. Many came to him and they said, John indeed did no sign, wonder, or miracle, but everything that John said about this man is true. And many believed in him and had faith after that in that place. I want to add quickly the scripture that is talking, and I only know this because through Revelation, in the HNV Bible version, although they misspell and they do not use the name Yahushua, they just say Yeshua, which I've already taught, and Yahushua has already prophesied to me and said has taken away the divinity of who Yahushua Hamashiach is when the name Yah isn't in his name. And this was purposely, is purposely done because Jews don't want to say the Creator's name, which I don't understand. I'm speaking of the Jewish Messiah believers. They don't want to say the name. Well, what I want to do is just say this really quick. And because of the HNV version, which uses the Hebrew names, when Yahushua was saying, isn't it written in your law, I said you are gods, he is mocking them. These are Pharisees that are surrounding him. These, I truly believe, were workers of the Kabbalah, which is forbidden, and Israel has mental hospitals, many of them, because they went into that forbidden doctrine of demons, were saying that man could be gods. Psalm 82, verse 6, which Yeshua quoted, actually shows in context, especially in verse 7, that even the most lofty of men, judges or rulers, are only mortals, not literal gods or God. So when Yeshua said, if he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture can't be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you blaspheme? Because I said I am the son of God, Yahweh, of course. Well, Yahushua is showing me right there. He had just done a miracle right before that. He had opened the eyes of the blind. That's why they could not say that he was demon-possessed. But beware of anyone who tries to claim that they are a god. No man and no woman is a god. And woe be unto those who say they are or allow anyone to preach that devil's doctrine. There was only one who was ever perfect enough, and he came as both God, the creator, a co-creator of this earth, and his name was Yahushua HaMashiach, the word that was made flesh, and he was, a, he was perfect in all ways. There, for these people who are saying right now that they are gods, and the one who will hear this knows what I'm talking about. This means that they are creators, and they have only created doom and destruction for themselves. And there's only one, and he knows who he is, who has a chance to ask forgiveness from Yushua HaMashiach right away, because he's a toe away from blasphemy. And that was in a prophecy that came from heaven. So this is what I want to say. We uh, who are believers in Yushua HaMashiach are only scarcely saved because we believe and we've accepted the blood atonement for our sins, for no one is perfect, all work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. The teaching of that will be later. Yahushua HaMashiach, bless you. This picture that you see is the one and only original oil painting 
that I had seen in a vision. Yahushua's tears of blood, he weeps. He weeps for Israel. He weeps for those who say that they are his. And yet he will say to them, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, for I have never known you. He weeps for what yet must be done in the great tribulation. He weeps tears of blood. And you see the holy angels, Archangel Michael, he's coming up there with his sword, the war. Do you see the picture behind that? Everything there I saw in a vision, and even the clock there, all oh, its seconds before the midnight hour. Yahushua comes in the midnight hour, and let no one tell you that it'll be on a certain date. For Yahushua himself, the Father has not told him yet when to go get the bride. We know the time, of, we know the season, because that was in a prophecy, and even the Jews know, and they celebrate Rosh Hashanah. And Rosh Hashanah is the date of creation. Get to know the Holy Feast, and we will rejoice for all eternity for the price Yahushua Mashiach gave with his own life. He was tortured in our place. He was crucified in our place. And Yahushua gave me a revelation. It's in a prophecy soon to come. And in those three hours that he suffered so greatly and he was mocked and spit upon. And vinegar was offered to his lips when he thirsted. He seen every name like a flash that I can't even describe for only God himself could do that only Yahushua himself could do that but every name written in the Lamb's Book of Life this blood's for you this blood's for you this blood's for you and for everyone who rejects it he's seen you in the Book of the Damned and in the Book of the Blotted Out knowing not even the sacrifice that he gives would be appreciated. Instead, his name would be damned, or they would call himself a god, or they would deny Yahushua and only use him as for a curse word. That picture right there, one minute to midnight, Yahushua weeps tears of blood like he did in the Garden of Gethsemane. Do you remember that? That's what this picture represents. When you see a copy of it on my reprobate enemies wall of shame and you see it on their websites or on their YouTube channel, they do not have my permission to use a picture of Imaya. They do not have my, picture, my permission to use the one minute to midnight painting. This shows that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And when you see that picture, if they are not part of a mighty wind ministry and they are my enemy and the enemy of all that is holy, and only the holy are part of a mighty wind ministry, you will know that they are a deceiver here. They are a deceiver. They are trying to appear like they are holy and they are not. When you look at that picture, you see those little angels there? There's little angels there too. There's all different kinds of angels in heaven. But Archangel Michael is the main one that protects Israel. And the main one that I have seen physically touch the wing which is in another testimony in 2005 of Archangel Michael. He protects his ministry. He wars against the enemies of this ministry. And Yahushua is the one who sends him. 
This is why Israel will always be there. So again, when you see this picture, if you don't know that they are part of a Mighty Wind ministry, then realize this. They are of the devil out to deceive you. And that goes for that picture of Emea also. You see, that's the vision I had. And Yahushua weeps tears of blood for that man who once was a blessing to a mighty wind ministry. In 2016, 2017, small part of 2018. He weeps tears of blood. And he says his blood's for you. Come back, realize you've been deceived. You're, you were on the borderline of insanity. Come out of the mysticism. Come out of the sorcery. Come out, you who are so deep in the darkness of the occult, believing your third eye must be open. Ask Yahushua to close it with his shed blood. Repent. Yahushua weeps tears of blood for you. If you are not a reprobate serpent, there's still hope for you. Shalom. This salvation prayer was given by Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach HaKodesh to Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu 25 years ago. This emotional prayer has never been redone until now. Especially if you are not saved yet and haven't given your life to Yahushua or if you have backslidden into sin. We urge you, and more than urge you, to say this salvation prayer together with her. If necessary, listen to it several times and get this prayer into your spirit. And again, repeat it with Elisha Veliahu with all of your heart and with all of your soul. And get saved, because tomorrow could be too late. Get saved and give your life to Yahushua HaMashiach right now. Dearest beloved Yahushua HaMashiach, I give my life to you now. I ask that you live through me. I ask that you create in me a pure heart. Psalm 51. I accept you, Yahushua HaMashiach, now as a ruler of my life and my Messiah and Savior. You are the God that I worship and love. I need and I want and I desire. Forgive me for my sins, for I know all have sinned and fell short of the glory of our creators. Forgive me, Yahushua. Wash me clean. Wash me clean. I confess my sins before you now. I lay them at the foot of the cross of Calvary, where you were crucified and tortured and where you died in three hours. Later you said it is finished. And yet you didn't stay dead on the third day. You did arise before witnesses. And for 40 days you walked this earth until you ascended back to heaven before witnesses. Yeshua HaMashiach, whom some called Jesus Christ, I declare your Hebrew name now before the great tribulation comes. The name is used as a curse word when they say Jesus Christ, and they do not dare to say that as a curse word of Muhammad or, or Allah or Buddha or even Satan, but they curse the name above all names. One of the parts of the Holy Trinity. For you are the only begotten son of Abba Yahweh. And the Ruach HaKadosh. And you are the Holy Trinity. And there is no other. You are the co-creators. You are the word that was made flesh. 
Oh, Yahushua, forgive me. Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Above that cross hung the words, King of Israel, and they couldn't take it down because you are coming back again to rule and reign. And oh, Yahushua, the bride of Yahushua, say, come, Yahushua, come. But not everyone is fit to be the bride of Yahushua. And so you say in the book of Revelation, blessed are all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, wash me clean with the only pure, holy blood sacrifice. When you walked this earth for 33 years, you never had a thought of sin. You never had an action of sin. Although you were tempted with every sin, you told the devil to get lost. He had no claim on you. And he will have no claim on me after I say the salvation prayer. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I believe you paid the price for my sins at Calvary. You were crucified. You were tortured. You were mocked. You were spit upon. Your clothes were, were stripped off of you as soldiers gambled, even for the clothes on your back. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, forgive me. And put your Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, within me. So let me know when I do right and wrong. Send the Comforter. Let the Comforter come in me now. For I know you are not dead, but you arose again on that third day. As that big boulder was rolled away that the soldiers had placed there and guarded. But that did not stop you on that third day. The boulder rolled away. I ask you to come into my heart, to forgive me of my sins. I confess every sin to you now, and I name them, and I turn away from them. Because I've been washed clean of all the unrighteousness, all the filthiness of this world. I give my life and my love to you. I will not deny you. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, you said if there had only been one, if there had only been me who would cry out for mercy, you would forgive, and the sins would be as far as the east is from the west. You said there's only one sin that could not be forgiven, and that is a blasphemy of the Ruach HaKadosh, the sweet Holy Spirit. Oh, beloved Yahushua, I would not be saying this prayer now if I was someone who was of blasphemy, unless it was of mockery. And I do not mock. I truly believe with all of my heart, and I will not doubt there is but one truth and way and life to get to heaven. There's only one intercessor, only one name, that Abba Yahweh, the Holy Father, will even listen to a prayer, and that's through your name, Yahushua HaMashiach. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have sinned against you so greatly. But I rise up, I'm not staying fallen. And I rise up and I come to you and I hang on tight to the cross at Calvary where you died for me and where you said it was finished. I turn away from every sin. I rebuke Satan and all those who are part of him. 
I rebuke the unholiness in the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach shall constantly be on my lips and I shall study and show myself approved and I shall read the New Testament. I shall read and I shall know you are the Torah from the law, from the beginning to the end, from Genesis to Revelation. I thank you now for filling me with your Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the sweet, sweet Chikanya glory, the very presence of Yahweh. And thank you for giving me the desire to serve you all the days of my life. And thank you for giving me the desire to live your life in me. Oh, Yahushua, live your life through me. I give your, my life and my soul to you. My mind and my body belongs to you. I'm so grateful. I have a Messiah. There is a blood sacrifice for, as it is written, with out, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, no forgiveness for sin. And the blood of the animals of the, that were sacrificed in the Old Testament, in the Old Blood Covenant, would not satisfy Abba Yahweh anymore, for the sin was so great. He had to send his only begotten Son, to whomsoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for filling me with faith to believe and never doubt. Oh, let your name be glorified through these lips and everything I do from now on. Show me how I can serve you. Show me how I can glorify you. Show me how I can exalt you. Thank you for freeing me from every addiction. Thank you for freeing me from every sin. And although I won't be perfect, thank you. Thank you that I'm able to say and reach out to you again and say, Yahushua, I've fallen. Please forgive me. But I will not premeditate sin. I will not hurt you like that purposely. Thank you for giving me the desire to read the Bible, especially everything about you. Thank you for helping me to understand what Elishavel Yahu is teaching as a Messianic Jew. She's teaching the Hebrew roots of the biblical scriptures and the Torah. Is from Genesis to Revelation. Your name is there. If they only knew Hebrew, they would see. As you told Ella Shavali Yahu, you taught her that the Torah, the Old Testament, was only a foreshadowing of when you would come. You would have a better plan. Moses did what he was to do, for at that time, it was not yet for you to be born. But even the blood that was over the doorpost of that sacrificial lamb was a foreshadow of you, Yahushua HaMashiach, when your blood would save and the angel of death would be forced not to touch those inside. And the curses could not come upon them, for they truly worshipped Abba Yahweh. Thank you for giving me the wisdom to understand the holy scriptures and the holy prophecies that you have spoken forth through a mighty wind ministry. Thank you for loving me and saving my soul. You said if it had only been me, you would have went to the cross at Calvary. You would have been tortured. You would have been beaten. And by your stripes, you said I was healed. You did not stop at your salvation. But you allowed Satan to go into the torturer that beat you 39 times with a no ordinary whip. But a whip with bits of lead 
and stone and anything that could rip and tear your, your skin in shreds till you barely even looked human and then forced you to carry hundreds of pounds of a cross up the hill of Golgotha. Oh, Yahushua, help my faith to grow each day, oh, Yahushua, Mashiach, so one day I will be with you in heaven and you will embrace me and cover me in kisses. I will be at the marriage supper of the Lamb. I will not deny you even when it comes to the fact that they say you have to lay your life down like they will demand for people to become martyrs. And only the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach will have a testimony as unto Enoch. So help me to be strong in you. Fill me overflowing with the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit now and deliver me from the evil one called Satan in your name, Yushua HaMashiach. Let the demons flee now in seven different directions as I belong to you, Yushua HaMashiach, as I say this prayer. And I pray it and I will continue to pray it each and every day until it gets in my spirit and my soul and my mind and my body. Oh, Yahushua, help me. Yahushua, to remember all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Father, Yahweh. You came to save us sinners. And that's why you're called our Savior, our Mashiach. You are the one and the only way to heaven. Your name is salvation. Yah saves. It is not Yeshua. It takes away the divinity of your name. You're named after the Father. And the Father's name is in your name. This is what I've been taught to stay. Help me, O Yahushua HaMashiach. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach, for I know I will be persecuted for your name's sake. Help me, Yahushua HaMashiach. I will never give up my faith in who you are. This day I am born again. I am blood washed. I am blood bought. My soul is not for sale. I belong to you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And because of it, I can now say to Satan, as it is written, submit yourself unto the name of Yeshua HaMashiach and then resist the devil and he shall flee from me. And submit means I will obey you. I will obey the Ten Commandments. I will obey the holy feast that Abba Yahweh has set in place to bring honor to the Holy Trinity. Abba Yahweh, Yehusha HaMashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh, sweet Holy Spirit, I will honor the Shabbat day and I will keep it holy. And it is not the lie of a Sunday. Help me, Heavenly Father, to defend the truth of a mighty wind ministry and the truths and the prophecies. Let me not turn into a reprobate enemy. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, I worship, I praise, I love, and I adore you. Thank you for coming into my heart. By faith, I believe every addiction has fleed from me. Every temptation to sin right now is gone. And when I am tempted, remind me to call upon the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. I worship you. 
Oh, Abba Yahweh, I've come now to the name of Yushua HaMashiach, and I come before your throne, and I ask for your help. For Yahushua has told me that before none could come to you and have a prayer answered, unless it's through the name and the blood of Yushua HaMashiach. I will read this prayer and I will hear this prayer for it was spoken underneath the anointing and Elisha Yahu did not even know one word from the next what she would speak for you put the new prayer in her mouth for even the old prayer has passed away and become new and I will say it not with the head knowledge but with all of my heart I believe it in faith, and I will remember that Yahushua HaMashiach is not only my God and my Lord and the soon-coming King of Israel and the only begotten Son of Yahweh. He is my Messiah. He is my healer, my deliverer, my resurrector. And he is my best friend who will never leave me nor forsake me. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. I hang on to Psalm 91, and I hang on to Psalm 23, for I know you, Yushua HaMashiach, you love me so much. You love me so much, you led me to where this prayer is. You love me just the way I am. You love me so much that you said, now I will make you better. Now I will raise up in you the true spirit within you so that I can say that you are pleasing unto me and no longer call you a worker of sin. Yahushua, you paid the price for my sins. And now I don't need to feel guilty or condemned anymore. For I have confessed every filthy sin before you, Yahushua HaMashiach. I have named them and I have cried tears over them. And I have told you that I am so sorry. And you have said, my child, I forgive you. Now you must have faith, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. And even if I don't hear your voice like Prophet Elishavel Yahu, I know that you hear me. I know that you see me. I know that I am a child of Abba Yahweh. You, Yahushua HaMashiach, and you, precious Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, Imaya. All of my sins are now forgiven. And there's a no fishing sign there. The only one that can go there is if I choose to remember my past sins and feel dirty about them all over again. Or if I choose to allow Satan to go fishing there and say, remember what you used to be and do. And that's when you have told me, Yahushua, that I am to tell Satan, I am forgiven. My soul belongs to Yushua HaMashiach. And as he reminds me of the past, I will remind him of the future, and that is a bottomless pit for eternity and the lake of fire. I now know that a sin is anything that I have done that displeases a holy Abba Yahweh, and you, Yahushua, and you, Ruach HaKadosh, I know that we all work out our own salvation with fear and trembling and whatever was done in the war in heaven against Lucifer, the war has been brought down here on this earth. And I will fight him. I will fight Satan and all of the unholy ones with him and all of the reprobates. I will fight them. Not in my strength, not in my might, but in the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh. I will get to know who you are, Yushua Mashiach, 
for John 3.16. The Bible tells me that I must confess you as my ruler of my life, my Lord, my Savior, my Messiah. So you will confess me before the Holy Father, Abba Yahweh. I must remember never to be ashamed of the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Never be ashamed of the truths and the revelations I will be taught. For Yahushua HaMashiach is not ashamed of me. I will tell someone that I can trust. That today I have made the decision of my life. This is my birthday. The day I say this prayer with all of my mind, with all of my heart. My body and my soul and my soul belongs to Yahushua. I accepted you, Yahushua, of Calvary and Nazareth, born in Bethlehem, both God in the spirit and both God in the flesh. But it was flesh and spirit that hung on the cross at Calvary. And this day I know that all the angels in heaven are rejoicing. They are rejoicing and they're singing with joy. And if no one ever rejoices over me on this earth, if I feel no one ever loves me or accepts me for who I am, I know that you rejoice and I know that all the angels rejoice for this is what the Bible says. And I know this apostle prophet, Pastor Elisheva Eliyahu, rejoices over me right now. And she has said, if I need a pastor, then I have one. And I know I am welcomed by a mighty wind that come online ministry that is in 51 different languages around this world that call upon you. We are not alone. And they all tell me that I am welcome. And they all wait for me to write Elisheva Eliyahu and tell her, I've accepted you, Yahushua HaMashiach. And even though I was an Orthodox Jew, and I speak now to those who will be Orthodox Jews, they too are welcome to come to Yahushua HaMashiach the way I've come to you this day. And oh, I look forward, Yahushua HaMashiach, for you embracing me and hugging me so tight and kissing my cheeks. I look forward at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Whether I be a bride or a guest, I will dance the Jewish dance with you. Oh, Yahushua, thank you for forgiving me. I feel so clean now. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Help me to grow quickly in you. Help me, give me more discernment. There's so many false prophets out there, so many who claim to be Christians and yet they're lukewarm that you're going to spit out of your mouth, vomit out of your mouth, as the book of Revelation says. Oh, Yahushua HaMashiach, bring another believer to me so I will not walk this walk alone, but if I must, so be it. For I don't walk alone, I walk with you, my new best friend, my Messiah, my Lord God, my Savior. I have you, Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for the gift of eternal life that I just inherited this day. To know my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Please keep it there and never let it be blotted out, is my prayer. And take not the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit from me. Instead, of increase the anointing within me. This is my prayer. I ask this day, on my true birthday, I said this salvation prayer. 
In Yahushua HaMashiach's name, I know that I will be hated more in this world than I am loved. Just like if you were walking this earth right now, they would hate you for your holiness. Thank you, Yahushua HaMashiach. For I know when Satan hates me and the demons and the reprobates hate me and they call me crazy, I know I truly belong to you, Yahushua HaMashiach, and I have been born again this day. Blood washed and blood bought and my soul is no longer mine, but in your hand, Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. Yet a mighty way Walk forth in the Trinity The true head of the ministry We had a mighty way Walk forth in the truth Take him back from the end Knock her down, she'll get back up from the ashes now. She's gonna rise up. She knock me down, I'll get back up. Catch up my mouth, I'm gonna rise up.